How's it going everybody? Paul Kranz here, and this is gonna be the first vlog of the off season. I haven't played in about 11 days uh, since the third round of USDGC. Unfortunately, I missed a cut, but I took some time off, some time to reset, uh, and I started working out. I started some recovery for my elbow, and uh, finally back out on the course again. It's been a while. I. Uh, I just played the first four holes out here at a uh, Dolly Cooper Disc Golf Park in uh, South Carolina and figured I would make a nine hole video. I'm gonna do worst shot doubles with myself um, and on the putting green only, I only have to make one putt to, uh, to count it. So I'm uh, gonna try to shoot a few under par, maybe like five or six under par would be a pretty ideal nine hole video for me. Um, but let's just see how it goes. All right, the first hole is 305 feet. Pretty straightforward hyzer. I'm gonna be going with a pyro and an echo. I'll, uh, I'll throw the pyro first because this is what I would normally throw. Look to be about 30 feet short. Gotta just try to put it a bit closer than that. That one is under the basket, so gotta have gonna start out with a putt. Pretty much exactly thirty feet. No pressure on the second putt. Uh, one under par through one. All right, the next hole is 220 feet. I'm gonna go proxy and tempo. Should be parked, I think. That, that one will be a bit of a putt. Proxy was in fact parked and the tempo is about 30 feet. A little bit of a tricky lie, but hopefully I can just sink the first one and not have to worry about putting. Ah uh, yeah, putt feels pretty good for not playing in a while, but Try to make the second one. Ow. Two under par. My 2024 tour season is officially over. I am extremely blessed for every opportunity that I had and all the support that you guys gave me throughout the entire season. Really couldn't have done any of this without you guys. So I appreciate the support. I am excited to announce that I will be going full-time tour next year as well. I, uh, I'm going to keep living this dream that I have for myself, and I'm excited to, to see where I go. And I, uh, I learned a lot this season. I uh, have a lot to, to take into next year and, and build off of. My season wasn't quite as uh, exciting as I was hoping for performance-wise, but I... Uh, I'm so blessed for the opportunities that I gave myself and I'm excited to improve on them next year. So this next hole is 270 feet. Looks like pretty much a dead straight shot, nothing in the way. Gotta put it close or else uh, another putt has to be made. All right, I'm gonna go with my mid-range tag team. This is a bit more flippy hex and then uh, this is a bit more overstable echo. I'm gonna go more highs with this one, a bit more straight with this one. Start out with the echo. Almost threw it in. Hopefully there's no drop off behind the basket that I don't know about. Looks like they'll be in about the same spot. 
we'll look at that. There is a drop off behind the basket, but luckily the echo was coming in a bit earlier than it. Uh, Hex is a bit closer, so we'll go, go with the echo shot. Man, it is a good thing that I specified I only had to make one putt because the second putt has not been ideal at all. All right, our fourth hole is 330 feet. This was the first kind of tricky hole, in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna go with one shot, hyzer over the top with a fireball, and then another shot, the proxy, slow turning into the green. Um, we are currently three under through three, so gotta keep it rolling. Started with the hyzer, with the fireball. That's not ideal. It's gonna be about 50. Proxy. Oh, that shot is so good. So it seems to be my uh, biggest weakness is throwing a hyzer wide. I always seem to commit to straight lines, um, like the proxy where I started it on a straight line and slow drifted it. But when I when I throw a hyzer, I still throw it on that straight line, more direct at the basket. I gotta really figure out how to change my mental to throwing wide, like 30 to 40 feet wider than I am right now. This putt is not looking easy right now. Um, but it's definitely something I'm gonna work on during the off season. It, it caused a lot of uh, missed opportunities and strokes during the season was just not throwing it wide enough. Like this disc landed 10 feet from the basket, but because of the me not throwing it wide enough, it skipped 60 feet left of the basket. So I got to figure that out. All right, we just got our first par, currently three under through four. Uh, this hole is 280 feet downhill, it's blind, uh, but throw it wide. We just, we just reminded ourselves, throw it wide. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention, pyro and eclipse tempo. This thing is sweet, overstable as heck. Uh, so, great, great addition to the bag. It landed in pretty much the same distance from the basket, but the tempo is a little bit worse. I think that's the first time the second putt went in. <laughs> All right, I uh, finally made my first second putt. I mean, I wish I was making all my second putts, but at least the first one's going in. So uh, this hole is 360, yeah, 365 feet. I'm gonna go with a pyro and fireball, just wide hyzer again. Pyro first, I'm gonna release it flat. off the tee but I think the pyro is gonna be a bit short. Pyro ended up short again. Uh, sometimes I just don't understand the mistakes that I make. 
Like I know the pyro has to be thrown hard and I just don't throw it hard. All right, first putt again. Right to left wind, it carried it up as it should. Oh, the second putt came in clutch, finally. All right, second putt, came in clutch, about time. Uh, this hole is 300 feet, there's into the woods, quite a few trees to contend with. It's kind of like a release of mid-range flat and it's gonna slow drift to the right and then push straight. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the hex and the echo. This red hex is what I would throw in this hole. Legitimately, so I'll start out with this. All right, that one is at least a putt. I can't tell if it's short or parked. Now the echo, have to put it on a bit more ante. Ooh, that might go in. Go in. Oh. Kept drifting, but they're both close. All right, the Echo is in fact parked and the Hex is 25 short. Got all this sand to deal with. Probably didn't get a skip because of it, but it'll also make the putting a bit more difficult. Another birdie. I think that puts us at seven under, nope, six under through seven. So there we go. Doing a lot better than I thought I was gonna do, but I also didn't really know what this course had entail. The first four holes were a bit a bit more on the tricky side. Um, and I guess uh, I warmed up a bit, so. Another tricky hole here, uh, tunnel shot. Could definitely hit early and, and cause some trouble, but it's about uh, 260 feet. We'll uh, we'll get another birdie. Two more holes to go. I'm already at my goal, so let's try to uh, let's try to finish at eight, eight under. All right, I'm gonna go with the proxy and the hex. I don't really have a disc that shapes my shot too well, but I think these will do. All right, if it didn't roll, that's pretty good. I lied about not having a disc that shapes that shot. The proxy is just perfect for, for any straight moving shots that are released on hyzer. Try to duplicate it with the hex. Oh, hit a tree behind the big one, so see where it ended. All right, this is the first tricky shot that I've had this round. I'm gonna have to throw in a miracle right now. The proxy is parked uh, and the hex hit the, the last tree actually, so. I also gotta remember to at least put both of these within putting, so don't hit any of this early crap. I'm actually gonna grab a tempo and do a little bit of a nose up spin putt through the this little gap that I have. And the tempo was really the only thing that can give it a run. Ooh. It's a bad branch. That's not not ideal. Run. This hole's causing some trouble. I got a 30 footer for par. Mm. 
Oh boy. Oh man, the pressure was real. Uh, got a par. So now, don't bogey the last hole, and then I'm, I just made my goal, but hopefully I can try to get one past it. All right, last hole, currently six under par. I don't see myself bogeying this hole, but you never know. It's uphill, like 380. I'm gonna go with a fireball hyzer and then a wrath kind of like pushing hyzer, kind of slight flip up. Start out with the fireball. All right, that one is literally touching the pin. So the well, final shot, hopefully, of the video uh, goes to the, to the rack. Shout out Ratana. Thank you for giving this to me. It's been in my bag this second she gave it to me. All right, I made it up top, but hopefully I have a clear putt. All right. I got a knee putt from about 38 feet. Got some branches in the way. This is for seven under and to be my goal by one. So let's end it with a bang. Man, the putting, the putting saved me today. I made a lot of 30 footers, which is uh, pretty ideal, but I'd say this is a good first round of the off season. All right, that'll do it for this video. Shot seven under par, we're shot doubles. Uh, I mean, I beat my goal, but this challenge would have been way more difficult if I had to make both putts. That, uh, that uh, I probably would have, I might have only birdied one hole, now that I'm thinking of it. Uh, so yeah, definitely a fun challenge to do when you're, uh, when you're wanting to practice and not always take your best shots. Like I threw a lot of good shots, like this fireball, my first shot under the basket. Now I move on to the next hole without having any pressure putt, but with the, uh, with the format of playing your worst shot, I threw my second shot to 38 feet, had a knee putt. Normally I would just pick that putt up. So Definitely a good way to practice and especially on a bit easier courses. So you're not just having an easy birdie fest the entire day. But I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for more videos. I'm hoping to, to put out some more content documenting my off season, doing some van build stuff and just more practice. So see you all in the next one.